Pour me a beer, dude. Video blog. Hey guys, Tom Connor here. Self-declared Baltimore brew dude for BaltimorePostExaminer.com. And I decided to do something a little bit different this week, mainly because the thing we did wasn't wasn't on track with the other things we've done. Instead of reviewing a beer or a brewery or a restaurant or something like that, something typical and average, uh, my friend Eric and I decided to take an infuser out for a spin. Uh, for those of you unaware, an infuser, as the name suggests, is just the thing that you put beer in, along with uh, ingredients that you pick, whatever you want, anything from the normal flavors you'd expect out of a drink to the bizarre, and just get those flavors into any beer you can choose and and drink it. So naturally we wanted to choose some level normal sounding beers so we didn't take anything too outrageous. We stuck with Yingling and Guinness for a darker beer. Now the first one we tried was something that isn't too unusual at least in today's day and age with it suggests with the success of a uh, banana bread beer, which tastes like banana bread. So we took a yingling basic lager and infused it with a whole banana. One beer, one banana. I am assuming we could have done less, especially considering how much it seemed to overflow, but hindsight is twenty twenty. Uh, second, we decided to go with a Guinness and coffee beans. Uh, that was incredibly Probably good. It was a bit, bit coffee, very overpowering for the the very mellow taste of this dry stout. And then third, we decided to go with chocolate in Guinness. That one wouldn't recommend it. Not that it tasted bad, just that afterwards it didn't really infuse much of the flavor and just ended up us sadly eating beer drenched chocolate huh wow uh, just for facts his buddy's called Randall Jr. is the name of the infuser it's made by Dogfish Head Brewery and uh roll the clip number one banana all right, like I said, we started with a uh, banana. Banana bear. This is uh, Eric Hoffman with with his knife abilities. They're stellar, beyond belief. Honestly, I, in all in all of this right now, he's a great guy right there. Great knife handler. All right, this is Randall Jr. Basically, just a glass container, and you uh, add the ingredients as you see Eric sloppily slapping them in there, and then you add the beer which in this case would be a yingling longer. Now you're supposed to add the filter, but uh, we didn't really read the directions. There's a, a little screen that you add, that way when you pour it out, it doesn't get all the crap in your beer. But here's us adding it afterwards because we're not that good at what we do. So yeah, then you take it, you look at it, and stare at it with your eyeballs for a minute, for a minute. Cap it up, airtight seal, locks in the carbonation, and to the fridge it goes for 10 minutes. 10 minutes later. And here we are again, let's take it out. All right, yeah, okay. After 10 minutes, it honestly, it absorbs a large portion of the flavor, a very large portion of the flavor, and the aroma it smells incredibly, incredibly like bananas. God, he's such a such a great actor. Such a great beer reviewer, that guy. And a photographer too. Great photographer. Number two. Coffee beans. Number two is coffee. We added uh, quite a bit of coffee beans, I don't know why. Get his draft? No, oh, thank you. Beer expert, you can read. Good for him. Let's put it in the fridge. Oh yeah, thank you. That is what we do. 
All right, well, coffee beans are floating. I suppose a little bit like coffee. Ah, you are a ast astute ob observer. Just great. Give it a taste. All right, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. I'll let you take this one. You're doing good. Very good. Oh, oh wow. Thanks. It smells like freaking Starbucks and make it. It tastes like iced coffee. I can't even tell it's against. Is that still rolling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Number three. Chocolate. Chocolate, or should we just leave it in chunks? You break it up into it. See how, see how fun you can break it up. All right, lint, dark chocolate. Now this was a sort of mistake. If we were, I wanted to use chocolate chips, just cheap little chocolate chips. But instead, we went for a four-dollar bar of chocolate. Four-dollar bar of chocolate. Why? Why? For something that didn't work out. It was just a waste. But it, you know, at least I got to eat some chocolate. I didn't pay for it. This one? We're going to be using Guinness Draft. Oh, thank you. Which is a good light uh, flavor to it, so the chocolate will really come through with it. Thank you, Dr. Hoffman. You're great. Top, Top it off, airtight seal. Wait for 10 minutes. You can't smell the chocolate too much. He is a nose expert. Has a PhD in nasal science. Very slight chocolate. Wow. Very, very slight on this one. And he has a uh, bachelor's in it. I buy that for a dollar. Tasting. Robocop. Great movie. Get a little bit soft to you know, release more of the flavor, probably. Yeah. But you can't do that one. We have to Needs to be more porous. Unless you want to eat, drink some warm beer. Eating Bye. the chocolate with it does complement the uh, Guinness, though. <laughs> Two chocolate. Eric knows his food. The guy knows his food. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. It's a mini enamel animal. <laughs> what? Ah. Off centered infusions for off centered people. That's what we are, bro. Off centered people. Damn right. So, what can I say about Mr. Randall Jr.? Well, I would say it's an investment. Well, it's not really that much of an investment. It's like 25 bucks, you know. And if you're curious about, you know, hey, I wonder what a beer would taste like if it had this flavor in it, you know, buy it. And you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. You can, if you want a, bur a beer, you can you can turn a cheap, a cheap beer that's, you know, into a higher quality beer if you have the ingredients to add to it. And you can try different things, you know, figure stuff out, and then you can transfer that over if you're a home brewer and say, hey, I wonder what would happen if I actually added this into the brewing process. And then you could get those flavors directly in a beer in a larger batch and see where it takes you. Now, I do not plan on this being the only video I make about the Randall Jr. Not at all. There's a lot of delicious things you can do, different kinds of fruit, and a lot of disgusting things you can do, different kinds of meat. And I plan on having an entire video at some point in time based solely on infusing meat into beer. I'm talking about ham, a ham lager. How does that sound? That was terrific. Alright, well, until next time, this is the Baltimore Brew Dude for BaltimorePostExaminer.com signing off. And I really don't really don't know what to do now. How do I say uh, goodbye? Well, cheers. Keep on drinking responsibly.